hello guys, super again. So this week I uploaded a video about the the new frame that I bought, the K450 uh, quadricopter frame, and I assembled everything on it, and I I want to show the frame and make my comments about. Okay, so this is the frame already assembled. Okay, uh, as you can see, I put it a APM. APM GPS, FPV telemetry system, and I I have yet the the top plate space to put a FPV uh, and wherever I want the trans video transmitter camera. I have this space also that I'm going to use for a uh, gimbal, and uh, so it's nice. So about the frame. Some some points on it are very nice. Some are very bad. The first good thing about this frame is the price, ten dollars, and uh, I'm not supported by any brand or store. Uh, it's a good price, and uh, one of the reason that the price so uh, I think that's a good price because this frame is also it has a distribution board. So as you can see, I, I soldered the battery here, and uh, I put some two extra power connectors for a video transmitter. You can see these small wires here. All the asks are connected here. The board there's connections, positive and negative connections, only on one side. And I decided to put this side down to have a, a, a flat surface in the other side. So, because I don't want the solder points to be touching anything in the other side. I'm going to put some rubber, some, some plastic material here to protect. So, so this is a good thing. Everything soldered here. Okay. The frame arms, as I told in the other video, I think there's a lot of space to pass the, the zip tights. You can fix everything with a good zip tight. Okay, like I did with wires and the uh, asks. There's a space here to pass the wires to the inner side. A bad thing about this frame is this. Let me put very close the screws heads. You see, like uh, we can't put anything on top of this frame because the surface is the flat surface is limited by this screws head so let's me take my mobile so if i put here you see it's like you don't have a good surface to put it so because of that the space that we have is quite small it's like this center part and this part okay between the screws I like these holes. I will put a server here. I saw that a micro server can be in this this hole. And uh, the the a good thing about this frame is that the the screws, uh, the the place where we we put the screws is a, it's done by metal. So it's nice because you can remove and put the screw the screw how many times you want, and they will not be you're not going to screw up the, the, the frame. Uh, a bad thing about is the size of the of the landing gear is quite small so what happens is I, I, I'm going to use the battery in the bottom side but if I do this this will happen the space between the surface and the, the frame was not enough to hold the battery here uh, so the battery was touching the ground before the frame and the frame was not uh, landing the landing gear so I took the landing gear from my nine, uh, nine, uh, my X900 tricopter frame and I use it here because I'm not using that frame anymore so that's it it's a nice frame, it's a good frame Very seems very hesitant. Ah, another thing that I was... The, the motors don't need, doesn't need the adapter, you can see. It's screwed directly in the frame, so there's no metal adapter here. Of course, that it's good to put some thread lock on it, but uh, this, this is a bit soft, 
and uh, it's nice because you can force the screw and it will be in place I think I think that the vibration will not affect a lot uh, I think that's it. it's a short video just to show it assembled in my opinion about it so I like the, the, the frame it's quite nice ten dollars with a distribution board so that's it see you bye program off-road which is the kind of the transmitter and the receiver without the phone is okay so first of all put the Okay, this is the self level. The, the controller board, the KD2, works to keep the tricopter always aligned. So if I uh, try to.